Oh, look at that fish chasing. Look, 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 look. Do you see him? He's chasing. Dude, big and dude. Oh no, you might have me on that. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on, baby. Be big. Holy sh Before we hop into this crazy episode, I wanted to announce that I'm gonna be at the MLF Outdoor Sports Expo, AKA Red Crest, later this week, the 10th through the 12th in Charlotte, North Carolina. Also, meet me at the Bassmaster Classic, the 24th through the 26th of March. So if you guys wanna come out and meet me, Make sure you go to the mock booth right next to the Strike King and Lose booth at the expo. It's always a blessing getting to meet many supporters of the channel, so I'd love to see y'all there. Today, we're going to be searching for some giant bass in some clear water ponds, ultra clear water to be exact. And we're gonna be hopping around to a bunch of different places today and we're gonna see what we can throw together. I got a couple special guests with me. This is person number one. Let's go, Fletch. Dude, check out this new setup I got. Oh, dude. This thing is the new 2023. <laughs> barbie, is that, is that, barbie rod the barbie rod catches like like the nukes dude yeah dude it catches freaking nuke you're sending bombs i out was there just talking to noah how like this is going to be like the new trend you're going to see all the the biggest anglers in the world on the tournament scene fishing with this thing right here the barbie rods let, yeah let me the, see the, send, send the a one. nuke out there dude I don't even that? know where you landed. Straight bomb. That is a freaking nuke. And then we got the man Connor. What's good, Popping dog? People. How you doing? Good. Yes, sir. Uh, hopefully uh, we get some today, but I'm, I'm waiting for Noah to actually come out with these uh, kick and Barbie combos. <laughs> the might, kick and Barbie the works? There. We got to see what Luz is looking at, but hey. <laughs> Pond looks good. Super clear today, so we'll see how it is. You got the Connor special? I got the old wake bait. This is my go-to bait, but... Hopefully he gets on him today. So he's got the striking wake. He's got that paired up on a kick of their bass combo. If you go want to check out these green kicking their bass X lose combos, they're available on kickingtheirbass.com. You can check them out down below. But yeah, Connor usually works this wake bait. Tell him how you work it. I fish it weird. So I think it's actually designed to be fished top water. So I don't know if you can see it on there, but if you notice the bill is very flat. So this bait, it makes a wake, it goes under the water, but I usually burn it fast. So I'm reeling, I'm burning it, I'm burning it, and it's like two foot underwater. But it sometimes agitates him and, and gets him to uh, to strike. So. I mean, you've got a ton of big bass on that. Yep, so. this is my go-to, so we'll see, we'll see if it works today. This is the first body of water that we're gonna be fishing. Pretty clear, we can almost sight fish these bass as we walk up on the bank. But I'm gonna go ahead and walk back here, rig up my rod, see what we're gonna throw today, and get after it. What's the goal today, Fletch? What's the big bass? The goal is to just Catch a bigger fish than Noah, That's but normal. but far as like you know my personal goal size wise, I'm shooting for a five plus. There's definitely quite a few in these waters. Hey, you know we're always on the hunt for a ten pounder. You know that wouldn't be bad either. Boys, I didn't say it in the beginning, but let's do a little challenge, a little one v one v one action. Okay. Okay. All okay. right, that's fair. We're, and we're gonna do the biggest fish since biggest that's what we're fish. looking. We're hunting for the big bass today. So yeah, biggest fish. Whoever catches the biggest one wins. All right, what Spank. do we win? What do we win? A kicking um, combo? Yeah, you win a kicking combo. A kicking combo? A kicking I'll combo take that. and a Barbie rod. I need a few more kicking combos. <laughs> <laughs> I need a few more kicking you know, combos <laughs> and Barbie combos to add to my collection. So, yeah, whoever catches the biggest bass. So, if we catch a pretty nice one, go ahead and slap her on the scale. Get her okay. up. Get her away. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. I see what you're putting down. But I'm curious to see what these clear water ponds are gonna hold, boys. So you're throwing a jig, jiggy, jiggy piggy, jiggy jiggy piggy. What well, are you I'm not throwing? Rolling. You're rolling the. Uh, you're rocking with the wake bait. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm rocking the wake bait. He's rocking with the jiggy jiggy. I, I think I got to get wiggy wiggy with it with the chatty chatty. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, the the chat the chatter chatter. The chatter chatter. I'm gonna put a cheddar cheddar. <laughs> cheddar cheddar, bada bada. So we're gonna put a cheddar cheddar on today. So this is a Thunder Cricket by Striking. This is a white and chartreuse. I believe this is a 3 8 ounce. This might actually be a half. It's kind of, head's pretty big on it. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna work with this puppy. You guys know almost every video I'm starting off with the chatter dunk. We're gonna start off with this and we're gonna actually experiment around with some different baits. Don't think I'm just gonna throw this the whole day. I, I, I wanna play around today. So we're gonna start off with that, you know, Build our confidence, get some fish on the bank, and then, uh, you know, try to catch some uh, other fish on different baits. That's kind of the game plan. Well, sexy swimmer right here. It's like a little gray one. I don't have any white ones with us. This is what I was throwing in some of the recent videos over the past month. 
and this combo tend to work pretty great white and chartreuse with that i almost wish i didn't put chartreuse on since we're fishing a clear water i kind of wish i put just a straight white on but yeah we'll get away with it ready to rock and roll with the old bitsy jig let's give this thing a fling and see what it's all about i see a bass cruising right there let's see if she's interested in this at all Ooh, gave me the cold shoulder that's not what we like to see noah mentioned it earlier but i'm throwing this wake bait and i'll actually show you guys how i work it traditionally baits out there and if you can see it wake in there it's just under the water just under but the way i work it i bomb it out and then i'm essentially bringing my rod tip down and i burn it pretty fast but with that rod tip down there it's going to get that bait a couple feet under the water where these fish are at so we'll see if we can get on them before we get deeper into this video only 27 percent of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed so if you could take the time hit the subscribe button really helps the channel i'd appreciate it all right boys we, we're actually gonna do a quick change i think i'll tie it back on here in a little bit but i have a better idea this is honestly complete like polar opposite of what i was going for but i kind of want to throw it because i was throwing it earlier today and i was having fun with it and that's gonna be a little wacky rig right here it's actually weightless it's got a couple little weed guards on it but yeah we're gonna rig this puppy up throw a soul stanko on it get to work i think we can catch some on it we i was throwing this this morning and we caught a good bit of fish on it and i like never throw a wacky rig i know if you guys are like hardcore supporters of the kicking their bass nation i know you guys know i don't throw a wacky rig often back in the day i used to a lot i think it's a great bait and i, and I want to introduce it back onto the channel because it's been so freaking long so we're going to start off with this i'll show you guys exactly what i'm going to pair up i just think that chartreuse chowder donk is a little overpowering for this water and i was going to tie on a different color anyways but then i thought about the sanko i was like you know what we're going to do that boys what do you think about that color so that's this is a ocho by striking so these stick baits are very interesting they got like an octagon shape to them i kind of want to put this over a little bit but yeah they're, they're shaped very differently than your stereotypical sanko that's like a plum color and i think that could work really well in this clear water we're going to take a spare and the spare is actually going to be like a watermelon red yeah i think that's what we're going to try out there's a good couple of tree lines down here but i kind of want to fish with it and i think we're going to be able to catch some fish if this isn't working then i want to switch up to something else and go for some bigger bites but i think this could catch a big bass if we see him and knowing that this place is clear water we can pretty much sight fish him. so it's going to be fun holy shit. that scared the out of me bro dude <laughs> that is so funny <laughs> dude come here you guys gotta witness this bro so i'm just walking okay i'm like casually looking in the water to see if i can see a fish i haven't even made my first cast yet and I, dude i walk up okay you hear that oh dude i stepped right here and all of a sudden i heard i, I would have taken off oh, do you see all those fish bro you see all those fish? Oh my gosh, I cannot cast this wacky rig. Did you see that good one? Yeah. That was a nice one, dude. I need to walk over here, guys. I about scared the heck out of myself. I about gave myself a heart attack. I mean, that's pretty valid though, Connor, right? If you hear something rattling between no, your legs I'd like be that. taking off the other way. Oh, look at that fish chasing. Look, 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 look. Do you see him? He's chasing. Dude, he chased it from the other bank. Dude, I saw him the whole way. I saw him the whole way, dude. That's insane. That's actually a good fish. Did you see it? Did you see it? Oh my God. He was hightailing it too. Could you see him though? That's pretty cool. Oh dude, I saw the whole thing. Yeah, I saw him right behind you. All right. I'm gonna run this guy back and weigh him. Fletcher, you wouldn't believe that bite I just had. Dude, I threw it across. 
burning it, and I saw the fish chasing it, hightailing it the whole way back to me, dude. All right, guys, we're zeroed out. Let's see what we're at here. Make sure we're focused there. We got us a 2.7. All right, we'll take it. All right, 2.7 to start off the little challenge. Let's get this guy back in the water. Oh, all right, we're going to toss him. <laughs> there he goes. All right, guys, we can't seem to get anything to bite in this corner. I'm actually going to walk down on this side, see if we can get us a fish. We got to get something started off. Carter is laying a good one in the big fish little challenge that we got going on. I'm just going to pitch this here. I don't see anything. This water's so clear, you got to be a little stealthy. Like a lay down there, I'd assume there'd be a fish nearby. Dude, he just ate it. Let's go, oh, dude. Oh, dude, that was sweet. That was awesome. I actually thought I was hung on a tree, guys. Oh, there he goes. I'm just gonna let him go. There he goes. <laughs> I barely had him hooked. Well, that's our first fish. Flipped on that tree and just let it sit, guys. Nothing more than that. Didn't move it around didn't anything i actually thought it was stuck on the tree at first did not realize that there was a fish on it and then i was like wait that's probably a bass that's the cool part about a wacky rig because you can work it so slow and just kind of chill out let that bait sink just let the fish grab it that was a pretty slick bite That was so cool. Just saw him come out of the tree and eat it. I wish you guys could see this. He came off again. I can't, I'm not gonna hold a fish today, am I? <laughs> or is he stuck? Are you stuck, buddy? Where'd you go? Boys, that was so cool. I just wish that there's some sort of filter. There's gotta be something I can put on the GoPro to where y'all can see what's going on in the water. Like my, my Senko was just chilling there. Nothing crazy. He was just chilling. I was popping him every once in a while. He was fluttering down. And then all of a sudden, I just like, from the right hand side, this fish just comes out and eats it. He didn't even hesitate. Oh, there's a bass right here, boys. <clears throat> Doesn't look like a bad one. He's actually looking at my bait. I threw it way out from him. I want to stay way far off this bank. Oh, yeah, he's looking. He's going right towards me. Yeah, yeah, he is. But he's about to come eat it, guys. This is a pretty decent one. Oh, oh he's, he's doing it. 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 He's about to eat it. He ate it. Oh, no, dude. What? Between us, like, just staying back, staying calm, and sniping that fish, I hate that he went right up in the air and we missed him. Wow. That was so stealthy. Like, that's the stuff I want y'all to see. If we had a drone up in the air right now, we would be able to see these fish eating the bait. I don't know, we can give it a shot. Give it a Worth a shot. Like, I've yet to catch a fish in any of these, so I don't know if they have any fish in them or not. But I would assume they do. Well, let's try it. We won't spend too much time with it. Here we go, boys. Pond number three. All right, I'm feeling good about this one. It looks really good. We'll rip one down this way. I'm feeling it. Oh my gosh, dude. He just followed me in. That was like probably over four pounds. Really? You just had a four pound. Dude, he, he literally came all the way to the bank. Why aren't they hitting it though? Dude, I just had a bite too. You had a bite too, boy? I scooped one out of no, he said he had like a four pounder. He chased me all the, all the way up to me, Fletcher. Let's get to work here. There's four pounders. There's some even bigger than that, but I would not mind catching a few fours real quick.
dude, begging, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh, no, you might have me on that. Oh, 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 it's a, dude, look at that football right there. Oh, no, yours is bigger than mine. Oh, that's a pretty fish, though, man. Oh, that's a good one. Look at the mouth on that thing. Yeah, we just doubled up. I barely hooked this fish, dude. Look at that. Barely hooked dude, it. Dude, I thought you had a football right there, dude. Dude, yours is bigger than mine. Heck, that might beat your fish in the other pond. I might have to weigh this one, too. Connor over here smoking him. I got, I got a nice little two-pounder, but I ain't gonna do it. You got one almost three in the other pond. That one's close to it again. Okay, we might be onto something here. This might be the spot, dude. We might have just found us a little honey hole. We're gonna give this, we're gonna weigh this guy because he's he's short and stocky. But I don't know if he's 27 short and stocky, but let's find out. We'll zero this thing out. Yeah. Okay. 2-8. Oh, <laughs> you did beat it out. Dang. We're one ounce over. All right. Not the exact size we're looking for, but we'll take it. We went from 2-7 to 2-8. Let's see what else That's we can do. Upgrade. That's an upgrade. Little upgrade, Fletcher. What's our? Uh... This one was uh, this one was two eight. Thank you, dude. What do the people want? That's the real question. I think the people want a net rig. Oh, Nelly, Nelly. There's one on the Ned. On the Ned. Is she respectable? I can't tell yet. She's coming right at me. Ooh, she got a little chunk. She got a little something, something in the trunk. Boom. I don't think she's gonna be a new leader, so we ain't gonna weigh her. But I'm glad to have a fish on the bank finally. Second fish I've got hooked. First one on the bank. We're getting something going here. That's all we need. All we need is a little bit of hope. It's amazing what you can do with just an ounce of hope, guys. Dude, there's a huge pipe right here, guys. I didn't see that until just now. Huge pipe right there. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a giant pipe right here. Dude, I have my hooks right now. I think we're about to... So... Oh, dude, it came off. Oh, my gosh. I watched him eat it, guys. I watched him eat that. As soon as it hit the water, just he twirled on it. Oh, oh my God. I don't think that was a bite the second time, but dude, they're getting aggressive. It's crazy because the other pond, they were just not aggressive at all. This pond is like a little hyper. They're wanting a moving bait. It's pretty crazy. Like I said, sometimes, dude, you keep stealing my trailer. That was a nice one. Dude, that fish was over three guys. I got another one to eat me, dude. They're loaded. They're freaking loaded, dude. My trailer's gone, but I'm just gonna keep casting because there's a lot of fish in this area. I had three bites on that one cast. Oh, dude, he just ate me again. What is going on, guys? Okay, look, I'm gonna show you all what I'm working with. They keep biting my trailer off, you see that? I'm gonna throw it in here and work it like a jig. Let's see what's gonna happen. I, I just had. So many bites right here in this one spot. Fletcher didn't even know he had the honey hole right here. What is going What is going on? I'm so confused. Is that a, I mean, that has to be a fish, right? What, what is happening right now? freaking going crazy guys they're going crazy i'm watching like big ones pick me up here like three to four pounds i'm literally looking at them they're not eating it though for some reason Dude, they're like sharks they're like freaking sharks they keep going like this over it i'm watching it i'm really watching it happen dude I, he just picked it up again like what is they're not eating it though should I switch up my strategy? I don't want to like put down the moving bait, but like if I had a jig right now, I feel like oh, dude, he did. like look at the boil, dude. You see that? They're freaking loaded down. 
Guys, I'm gonna retie something real quick. Looks like Noah's getting absolutely obliterated down there by something. He ran back to change a soft plastic or something along the lines of that. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna go right to his spot and we're gonna just slither right on in there and see what's going on. But first we're gonna check this pipe. This pipe looks very enticing. There's one. We got him. Another one on the Ned. Not what we need. Not the size we need. Connor, I'm putting a square bill on. Do you, do you have another wake bait or no? I'm tying on this wake bait like Connor's working it because they are fired up on moving baits right now. I just cannot get them to commit on that chatter donk. That had so many freaking bites. Let's go down here and see. Connor, you're about to get we're about to get obliterated. Let's triple up right here. Did you get smoked? I literally had like 10 bats Do you see them? Yeah, bro. I probably had like seven bites. Watch. I got one. Got him. Stuck him. Stuck him. That one feels like she might have a little bit of girth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yo. Come on. Dude, that's a good one. Boom. That one's worth weighing, I think. You, you think that one's worth weighing? I think so. Are all the scales Oh, dude, look at the guy. <laughs> Wait, Connor, you want to see something funny? You want, you want to see something hilarious? Connor, look. Connor, look. I'm going to catch one on his ride, dude. I want to overtake him right here. Watch this. All zeroed out. Like right at two pounds. It was jumping back between 115 and two pounds. There he is. He's all dope. Did you just pick up my dang lure? You son of a gun! You better get my rod back, boy! That's... You gotta tie your own net, net bait on. That's... Uh-oh! Oh, come on, baby! Be big! We're having a feed in Be bigger! I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Give me my dang rod. Now, that's a good one. Do you, you, think, you, think, you think that has me? I brought the tail over here. Oh, cool. It doesn't feel like it, but let's give it a wait. All right. What is going on? We're zeroed out there. We are on the mother load. <laughs> Just about two, one pound, 15 ounces. Are we gonna call this one the honey hole This This might be a new honey hole. Oh, it's a snag. Please come out. I don't want to have to go retie. Dude, no, you put some bad voodoo on my bait over here. That's a tree. All right, we'll go back to back here. I'm feeling it. But I slowed it down just a little bit, kind of like right here. I feel like this bait just does an exceptional job of making these fish freak out and think they have to eat this. Oh my gosh, dude, I just got slammed. So we're going to tie on this four aught. There might be a three aught extra wide gap. We're going to go with that, that pink fluke. I just feel like I can take advantage of this right now. Since we're doing this little 1v1v1 deal, like if Connor's standing next to me and a fish follows him back like it's been, that's been happening to us, I could technically just throw in right behind it and possibly salvage up the bottom. But I feel like this fluke is slow and fast at the same time, so it might, it might do the trick. But the real question is, should we go with a solid pink? Or should we go with that more of like translucent pink? Um, I'm gonna say with it being cloudy out, we're gonna go with the straight pink. And I think we're gonna be surprised with the results on this. I got the secret bait. The, the fish I just caught, I just told him to let all the other fish bite. To not bite yours. Oh, to not bite mine? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna catch his brother and tell him to not bite yours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, you see this fluke? Oh my gosh, this caffeine shed looks so good, dude. Is that a pink one? Yeah. Dude, when this caffeine shot falls, guys, the tail just kind of like wags. Dude, that looks so good. Oh, it looks so juicy. Here we go, boys. Our final destination. Our final destination. It's the final countdown. Well, what's going to happen? Is Connor going to win? Or is one of us going to pick up a good one? I guess we're about to find out. There is some good fish in here. 
we can get one of them hooked, it'll be a freaking daddy, dude. I'm telling you. There's like brush piles, Connor, that you're going over. How far down are they? From the bottom. Uh, Ooh, really? hold on. Yep. Yep. That one? Uh oh. Oh. I was like, he's coming up. <laughs> is it going to be a big head? You see what I did, dude? Pop, look how fat he is, though. He is thick. Look at that oh, thick bone. Is that fish? <laughs> what? Oh, there's something over there. Man. Bro, this man literally ate my bait with a leaf on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a chunky guy. De definitely fat, just not. What are we looking for? Yeah, I hit that tree, dude, and I went boop, popped it one hard time, and I felt like a slight tap. I had to give it a little wiggle, wiggle, pop. We smelled it last time, too. It smells like dead blue. That one? Oh, dude, that's a, that feels like a good one. Oh, gosh. I was pulling them out. That's not a bad one, dude, but it ain't beating yours. I mean, that's a two-pounder. Fat belly. Golly. Well, they're eating the jig. That's good. Crunchy. Ooh. Look at this red lipstick. Pretty fish. Let that puppy go. Catch him on our last stop. I like that. That was a good bite, dude. That last one was a little tap. That one was like, don't, don't. Congratulations, young sir. You have won the tournament. Hey guys, you, you didn't know the reward of the challenge, but Noah's actually turning the channel over to me now, so I'm going to be <laughs> taking it over full time. I mean, that's what it seems like after the last couple of days. I mean, shoot. <laughs> You're not wrong. Good day of fishing though. No, did ones. you weigh? I, I didn't even weigh. You didn't weigh? I didn't even weigh. So that means I fished There the ain't second. no second places <laughs> around here. There ain't All no right, second places. Still got last place. <laughs> well guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section down below on what you guys want to see. Share this video with a friend, get somebody new into fishing, and I will catch y'all in the next video.